Dear students, I am Bharat Kashyap, lecturer Biology at GSSS, Majwad, District Mandi. Today I am going to teach you 8th chapter of Biology, Human Health and Diseases. And today's topic is Ascariasis, Filariasis and Ringworm. Let us study few helminth diseases. First one is Ascariasis. Look at these diagrams. Now causing organism. Ascariasis is caused by an intestinal endoparasite of man, Ascaris lumbricoides. It is commonly called roundworm. It is common in children. Ascaris completes its life cycle in only one host, hence called monogenetic. Ascaris shows sexual dimorphism, which means male and female can be distinguished externally. Male is smaller with curved posterior end. Female lays the capsulated eggs along with faces in the soil. These are the eggs. They are of two types, fertilized and unfertilized. This is the Ascaris, female Ascaris. Epidemiology, which means to study the cause and control of disease. Human infection is direct and oral in this case. Capsules with second juvenile larva are ingested with contaminated food, for example, vegetables and fruits and water, passive vectors, which are only mechanical carriers of pathogen are flies and cockroaches. Now let us understand life cycle in humans. This is in intestine. Adult Ascaris is found. They produce eggs. These eggs are released into the soil with human faces. Now the fertilized eggs undergo development and there is formation of larvae within these. These larvae containing eggs are taken with contaminated food by human into their body and now these larvae hatch when they enter in blood circulation and then migrate to the lungs and inside the lungs these li these grow these larvae are now cuffed up and swallowed through mouth and re-enter into the gastrointestinal tract and maturation proceeds in the small intestine again so this is the cycle how the parasite completes in different parts of human body Now let us discuss some symptoms of Ascariasis. Ascariasis may cause internal bleeding, abdominal pain, indigestion, weakness, anemia, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, etc. Heavy infection may cause enteritis, enteritis that is swelling of the intestine, small intestine due to infection, pneumonia, hepatitis, appendicitis and blockage of intestine may take place. Now diagnosis. Ascariasis is diagnosed by stool test, dermal test or scratch test to find increase in eosin type of WBC. Now prophylaxis. Proper disposal of human faces should be done. Proper coverage of eatables from vectors, flies, etc. Proper washing of eatables. Washing hands before meals should be done. Now, therapy. Main anti ascariasis drugs are hexyl resorcinol crystals in gelatin capsules or a mixture of 
chinopodium and tetrachloroethylene should be recommended to the patients. Now second is phyllidiasis or elephantiasis. Look at the picture here. This is a patient suffering from the disease phyllidiasis. Now cause of the disease. It is caused by Vukereria bancrofti and Vukereria malayi, commonly called filarial worms. These are found in lymph vessels and lymph nodes of man. Man is the primary host in which the sexual reproduction of parasite take place. Now, these worms occur in lymph vessels and lymph nodes of lower limbs. The larval or juvenile stages called the microfilary are found in saliva of mosquitoes like Aedes and Culex. These are the secondary hosts here. So the life cycle of filarial worm is digenetic that is require two hosts to complete its life cycle. It is viviparous which means the live young ones are formed inside the body of parent. Now let us study epidemiology of filariasis. Human infection is indirect and inoculative in which juveniles called microfilari are injected into the blood of man along with saliva of Aedes and Culex mosquitoes. Now let us understand life cycle with this picture. This is the from here. Mosquito takes a blood meal and inoculate the larvae, the juveniles called microfilary into the human blood. Now these stages take place in human, rather adults are formed in humans. These adults produce sheathed microfilary that migrate into the lymph and blood channels of human. And now mosquito takes a blood meal and with this the microfilary are ingested into his body, into his elementary canal. These microfilary shed sheets and penetrate mosquitoes mid gut and migrate to the thoracic muscles now. And these different stages take place in those muscles. Then migrate to head and mosquitoes proboscis. And now the mosquito take, take a blood meal and again the larvae enters the skin of humans. So this whole process is repeated. This is the life cycle of the pathogen of filariasis or Vucereria bancrofti. Now the symptoms of the disease, fever, growth of endothelial cells of lymph vessels cause their blockage results in enormous swelling of legs, crotal sacs, breasts etc. This swelling in legs make them appear like legs of elephant hence called elephantiasis. Now prophylaxis Avoidance of mosquito bites through the personal protection measures or community level vector control is the best option to prevent filariasis. Now therapy. The drugs like hetrazine and diethyl carbamazine are commonly used. Now let us study the disease caused by fungi. Ringworms. This is the picture showing ringworm affected area of the skin. Now, cause it is most infectious fungal disease with genera like Microsporum, Trichophyton, and Epidermophyton. Now, epidemiology 
human infection occur either through contact with infected person or soil or formite borne that is through towels clothes comb etc of the infected person now symptoms the appearance of dry scaly lesions on various parts of the body such as skin nails and scalp with intense itching now prophylaxis isolation of the patient then articles used by the patient must be sterilized and now therapy antibiotics are recommended so with this we come to close of today's lecture i hope you have found it interesting and understood it thanks for watching